All right, I just wanted to highlight a couple of, uh, I don't know, I guess odd attacks I had to make on uh, Mercs just to uh, show that there are other ways of beating them besides just Brotherhood 2.0. And of course, Black Order is a uh, very good counter to them. Um, this one in particular is uh, kind of weird because it was in Reactor, so that, that automatically puts you at a bit of a disadvantage. They're boosted. They have a very big Killmonger, 7 red stars, 100k, and a big Shuri. Um, Merc Rygaard's not that big, but you know he's still going to throw out those defense ups and everything. And the task manager is actually a little bit uh, weak at 46k here. Um, they didn't have any of their defensive boosts at this point, so that also plays into it. So I just wanted to show, um, I thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, I took X-Men here, and instead of using um, Wolverine, I uh, threw in Scientist Supreme. And this was towards the end of war, so I think this was my last attack anyway before we full cleared them. So I didn't really need any of these other teams. I still had power armor, I still had defenders. Uh, maybe I had one more attack after this, but it was it was a clear win for us, so it didn't really matter uh, to break up a team like AIM to use with X-Men. But uh, if you want to see here, I thought this is kind of an interesting attack. Uh, basically, off the bat, you know, you're going to get the disrupts, right? And then they're going to attack and they're going to start hitting Phoenix because she's the highest uh, attack power. And so they hit her a whole bunch, but because of Colossus, she spawns with defense up, so she doesn't die. Um, but I just thought this was kind of interesting because you, uh, you have Storm, you have Phoenix, you have Psylocke. Um, so there's a lot of debuffs that you can get rid of or a lot of different ways. Uh, but what I went for was I was trying to dispel the taunt off of this uh, Riot Guard because he's kind of low power. I figured it would work, and of course it didn't. Uh, so now they're building the deflects. You can see the stacks there are pretty strong. Uh, but instead of using the Scientist Supreme Alt, I used her special. And the reason why is because uh, that allows Colossus uh, to do his death proofs and stuff or taunt if necessary. So if he was still uh, disruptive right now, he wouldn't be able to get his taunt and everything. So that would be a problem. Now I did lose Scientist Supreme there because that was a lot of damage. Uh, but as you can see here, Phoenix is very powerful at tier 14. So she's going to do some work here. Um, Colossus auto taunts because of uh, Phoenix getting hurt and the cool thing about that if you notice here he's got several stacks of taunt he's got uh, a couple of death proofs a couple defense ups and a couple of immunities it's really great when your Phoenix goes down early because then when you use his ult it extends the taunt because it sees it as a another buff and so if you get all those buffs then and uh, the immunity was from the disrupt flip from Scientist Supreme uh, extending all that just makes it pretty awesome so it really really makes Colossus tanky like super super tanky so you see here just kind of got to go through the motions uh, still stuck on this riot guard so I go for a stun slow anything I can get uh, I got one stun on Shuri and a slow on Killmonger so not a whole lot of success there um, but as you can see, Phoenix is about to get her turn, so uh, her ult is going to wipe away all these buffs that they're hiding behind. Uh, well, most of them anyway. Um, somehow, somehow that Riot Guard at 55k or whatever is still resisting all these buff removals, so uh, just going to have to kill him uh, the old-fashioned way. And so I actually look here because I'm thinking like, well, do I want to taunt and deflect or do I want to kill that Riot Guard? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. But it's actually kind of fortunate that he uh, takes his attack next before uh, Taskmaster does and then the Colossus Retaliation kills him. And of course, Phoenix Basic uh, does a lot of splash damage. I'm um, just going for damage here. Got an assist there from Dark Phoenix, which is nice. Uh, so we'll be taking him out in a sec here and then we'll just clean up the uh, Killmonger as we need to. So this is an attack that worked. It was in Reactor, so bringing uh, Scientist Supreme was extremely important. Uh, her, her buff flip at the beginning there is what enabled Colossus to take the brunt of all that damage. So I think that's pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, another one I wanted to show and just highlight here, because uh, I've been trying to make use of this team. And to be honest, uh, I'm kind of having trouble sometimes. <laughs> so power armor with Ironheart, now that I've got her built up to a decent amount, uh, is very powerful. They are extremely good. Uh, but this is kind of a wimpy, um, a wimpy uh, Mercs team here because the um, Shuri was very high power. So the rest of them averaged down a little bit, Ooh. despite the numbers. But 
in any case, it's in Cargo Bay, which is kind of a pain because you can see they start with stealth here, so I can't target uh, Task Manager, unfortunately, uh, for the ability blocks and stuff. Um, and then he does his alt, and so there we go. We got blinds. We got two blinds. They're taunting on War Machine because he is the highest uh, damage. So uh, gotta gotta watch that. So you need to make sure that your uh, your whoever your highest power or highest attack power character is is ready to take a lot of damage here because he is going to get railed. Uh, and you can see here I'm forced to hit Riot Guard because they all got turns uh, before I did. So something interesting about the turn order in that fight. Now the other problem is is that uh, her, her special, I don't believe it's going to work through blind, so it misses. So you don't get the turn meter reduction and you don't hit them with the ability blocks and stuff. So uh, for this I just opt to do the basic with War Machine since it, he's blind. But because they have all those buffs, uh, we get lots of turn meter. So I figure we'll start uh, whacking away at them, removing those deflects uh, from their initial boost. And then this clears all the debuffs. And here comes the Ironheart ult, uh, which is going to put the defense down on a whole bunch of them and make them a little easier to kill. You can see there it only procced on three of them, but my Iron Heart's only 50k, so that may be part of it. Uh, War Machine with an offense up ult just does so much damage. All the defense down people took huge damage there. Sure, he's gone. Um, so now it's just a matter of outlasting them, really. And of course, we want to get rid of these deflects so that we can do big damage. Um, and uh, yeah, so really you want to go for, for Taskmaster because he is you know, the one that's going to kill you, if anything. And uh, just trying to get him down before uh, Riot Guard taunts again is a little bit tricky. Um, but I go ahead and just do the alt anyway, just to get him low, because he can't heal at this point. So there's no healing for him. Opt for the special here, just to make sure I can outrun them a little bit, get him down, and the rest is pretty easy to clean up. Um, but I haven't really seen too many people attacking uh, mercs with power armor, and I thought this was actually a fairly successful attack, um, mostly because Shuri is there. So when you use Shuri on defense, you lose a lot of the damage, and I think that's pretty significant, because um, I've seen her in a lot of mercs teams on, on in war defense, and I don't think that she's a great fit, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure that Bullseye is all that much better. He does do more damage and assist on attacks and all that with his passive, uh, which is very nice, but... He's just so squishy. It's really hard to get behind him. But in any case, um, that was a nice little win there. Uh, it was kind of a forced attack because we didn't really have a whole lot remaining to kill. And so I, I didn't really have much choice. I had to I had to take something in there, and that was my best bet. I never tried Power Armor versus Mercs before, but it worked out okay. Now, the ways that, that this could go wrong, though, is if you lost your War Machine early uh, due to the taunt and getting just... You know, losing his defense up and all that, uh, you could definitely have a lot of trouble there because he did most of the damage. So, you do need a big war machine um, for sure. Um, you need to get him. Uh, man, yeah, just stop that there. Uh, but you gotta get him set up here and ready to fight. And uh, you can see here. Um, yeah, my team was 322, so it's just a little bit bigger than this Mercs team, which uh, is, is, I don't know, I thought that was interesting. The Killmonger was a little low at 46k, um, but yeah, they uh, they need a little bit more damage on this team to be more uh, effective against mine. But I believe having Shuri there really makes a difference, though, for Power Armor to be able to take out these teams. And so I'm going to try this into the higher levels if I can in the future and see uh, if they have a Shuri, because if you don't take as much damage on the initial blast, they aren't going to kill your war machine. And so I think that's that's the key to it. And so with Shuri there, it does nerf their damage because she doesn't provide offense up. She doesn't really attack. Uh, she just gives them defense up and sustainability, uh, minor heals and all that. Um, and I don't really think that Mercs need that. I think Merc LT should be doing most of that work. And I think they just need another damage dealer. So uh, just an interesting team uh, to fight with. I um, hadn't really seen this before, so I thought I'd give it a shot. It worked out for me. It may not work out for you, but you never know. So anyway, just wanted to highlight those two teams. The X-Men with Scientist Supreme and Reactor worked, as well as the, uh, the Power Armor 2.0 in Cargo Bay uh, against a boosted uh, Mercs team with Shuri. So 
pretty cool. Uh, let me know if you got any other ideas for counters and stuff that you haven't seen or like to try. Uh, I got a pretty good roster for doing it, and uh, maybe there's some good ones out there that we haven't discovered yet. So let me know in the comments, and I'll see you later.